Hey there, my name's Brittany and I'm here to do a green and gold tutorial for you guys today. We're gonna make a pair of earrings and a necklace. I'm super excited because Jesse James Beads made these wonderful um, strands, these shorty strands using or featuring Dakota stones. And the one I'm gonna use today, I think is called Hiking Trail. So this, these strands, um, they come obviously one at a time, um, feature some Z beads agates with the green wavy um, design on them, some star cut uh, tiger eye beads, and some green forest jasper as well as some spacers and bead caps. Uh, I thought this would be a great way to use or to make like a, a St. Patrick's Day uh, necklace and a pair of earrings but having it be a little toned down using a lot of really cool like greens and golds from Jesse James Beads. So the other things that I'm going to be using today are some of this big girl this uh, textured chain called big girl I love it I use this in uh, my galactic butterfly earrings um, I'm also going to be using I might use these I'm not hundred percent sure yet um, some check fire polish eight millimeter uh, eight millimeter pearlized gold uh, beads I will be using some beads from the metal mix I love these metal mix beads um, this pendant it's just called pendant green stone um, I also have a mini mix and I've already rated some of the colors out of here you only see brown but there this was mostly green avocado on everything I've used this in um, my galactic butterfly tutorial as well which was, was really fun so you get these kind of stretch pretty far because this is a se uh, second and third items that I'll be making with this mix um, along with some wire and possibly I don't think I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using the bead stringing wire but I'm for sure gonna be using either 20 gauge or 22 gauge wire I haven't decided yet so we'll get started uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is open up my uh, strand here but I'm gonna save one of my star cut beads for a pair of earrings on each strand so I'm just gonna cut that apart cut this one and I'm gonna just move those off to the side forget that they exist for now so I don't use them accidentally in my design I'm gonna clean this up a little bit so the first thing I want to do is make my pendant and I'm gonna do that by grabbing I mean this is already a pendant but we're gonna make him we're gonna jazz it up just just a very little bit I'm gonna push these guys to the side and I am gonna grab my big girl chain and I have yet to use this as chain I've been using these as like quick links almost um, I'm just cutting the smallest the smallest loop put this off to the side oh that guy cut and then we have a medium one I'm gonna put that to the side too and then I'm gonna cut off a large one this chain is so versatile and you get so much of it okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is hang my pendant from the loop now you can do this several ways you could just cut off the bail sorry for my dog she's in the background squeaking on her toy um, but you can cut off the bail but this bail is actually not soldered closed so we're gonna open it very carefully slide it onto our loop and then close it so you might you might be able to do this with your fingers but I'm not gonna chance breaking a nail <laughs> and I'm just gonna ease it apart very carefully See how we have it open just enough to get it onto our loop oh. well we got it onto our loop and off of our other loop we'll hold that in place swing our pendant back on and then we'll just close it right back up
Okay, so we've got that closed and now here is our pendant. I mean, you can just hang that from some chain reaction and, and you're ready to go, but we're gonna make something pretty cool with it today. So I'm just gonna move my broken pieces or my cut pieces to the side. In our piece today, I'm going to use simple loops and I'm going to actually end up using the 20 gauge wire um, because it's just a little, it's a little thicker, it's more sturdy. Um, if we were wire wrapping, we might use a thinner gauge, but I'm just making simple loops today around our, our, our chain loops. Okay. So I have my I have my um, wire ready. I don't need it quite yet because I want to decide how my, well, what my design will be. So each side I'm going to use uh, one strand of the Dakota, um, the Jesse James bead strands featuring Dakota stones. But um, I'm also going to mix in, and this is a great way to uh, make your beads go further, mix in some beads from the mini mix and the metal mix. So I have off to my side here, um, some beads from the mini mix. So I have a little bit of yellow, but mostly green. And then I have some brown that'll go with the stones. Oh, one of our jaspers made a run for it. And then I also have some gold to fit with our green and gold theme from that metal mix. If we need to, we can mix in some of those check fire polish beads, but let's see what we've got here first. Um, I'm gonna do links, so beaded links uh, leading up to our pendant today. And I just wanna make sure that we design some really cute links and then make the green really pop, this green of the pendant really pop. So let's see. Jesse James Beads does a really good job of designing these strands so it's almost like you could just take three beads off make your link take another three beads off make your link so we'll just kind of grab a piece of wire okay and then we will make our little design so I have a Z bead I have a crystal I want to save that dark crystal for one of these lighter beads. Um, I'll put one of my yellow crystals. I'll put a spacer and let's put let's put this brown bead on here too. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a loop. Grab your brown nose pliers. Okay, so you can make a bend if you need to. And then you'll grab your wire between your needle nose pliers and bring the loop around. So we have um, a really nice loop there. And then I'll just make, I'll just make my little link. I'll put on this bead my crystal nope I'll put on this bead then my Z bead then my spacer and then my crystal and there is our first grouping of beads for one of the sides and then I'll just do the same thing I'll make a crease I'll cut off a length of the wire. And again, if you're interested in wire wrapping, you can totally do that. So here's our first beaded link to go onto our necklace. Now it doesn't look like much, just four beads, but we're gonna set that to the side and then we're gonna design our next one. And once these are all come together, it's gonna be a really nice cohesive piece. So, okay, our next set of beads, I'm not gonna use this Z bead right here, but I will use these two gemstones. We're gonna use um, a star cut bead, the two bead caps, um, 
a jasper and then I'll add in this like olive color crystal and we can use I'll use one of these like um, matte brown beads. They're like matte brown gray. I don't really know <laughs> what color that is. <laughs> so again, I'll get another length of wire. Another length of wire and we'll make our loop. And then I want the star cut bead to be against the loop there. Um, I'll go with my olive crystal bead cap, my jasper, and I have a little bit of a hook on my wire here, so I'll just cut that off. Put the jasper on, and then we'll put on. Oop! Uh, put on our last bead cap and our crystal. So that's a pretty little, pretty little um, mix too. So then we'll just go ahead and this is a little bit too long of a tail, so I'll just cut a little bit off. And then we'll make our little loop. We're gonna make several of these for this necklace. All right, so here are our first two, and it's okay if they're not <clears throat> the same length. They're very similar in length, but they're not exactly the same. That doesn't matter um, because we will be using uh, the same lengths on each side. So each side of the necklace will be um, uh, symmetrical. This one's a little loose, so all you have to do to fix that is cut a teeny bit off of your loop. Okay, so now we have an open loop, and then I'll just recurl it to make it a tighter fit. And then you can keep going and then I'm probably going to cut a little bit more off of that loop because I don't want it to become almost like a split ring. Here we go. So it's much tighter now. This one I'll end up closing later. The reason why I'm making these loops so big is because they have to be able to get around the links that we're going to put in later okay so we have two we still have maybe two or three left to go and i'm making sure that i put aside like we've already used one yellow crystal i need to put a yellow crystal here we've used an olive crystal i need to put one on that side to make sure that we have enough for the other side of the necklace okay so we have two yellow crystals left, so obviously one's gonna go over there. We have two smoky crystals left, one will go over there. We have two brown, and one will go over there. And then, okay, there we go. So next I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do these three, just like this. So very similar to the last one, but I'm gonna use a Z bead. We'll make our loop. Okay. And then we will pile on our beads, put the Z bead on. Then we'll put our bead cap. Jasper, 
our bead cap, and our star cut bead. So that'll be our next loop. We'll fold here. And cut. And then again, we'll just make our simple loop. So now we have three, but they all look, they look very similar, but they're all different. Okay. Next, um, I need to make at least two more links. And these are the beads that we have left. So let's see, we have one that'll have a Z bead. Um, they'll both have the spacer that was on our, our strand. We'll do another one, these two together. We'll do that one, that one. These might be a little bit longer. I don't think we need that, that second yellow one. I think that will be good here. Okay. I'm going to make our loop. So we're at four links, and then we'll make our last one. And I will start off, let's see. This time I'll start off with the Jasper and then the larger one, our crystal, our smaller spacer, tiger eye, and our crystal. This is probably our longest one. It's really pretty though. I'm sorry the colors aren't coming in very true because of the lighting, but it's very rich. And then we'll go ahead and make our last loop. And again, just like the other one, we need to adjust just a little bit. I like to leave those in just to show you it doesn't always come out perfect the first time. <laughs> and then we just adjust it and we're good. Okay, so we made five really pretty links. Oh, and I missed a Jasper, but I can save him for another project. Um, we have five really pretty links for this half of the necklace. What I'm going to do is make the exact links that you see here for the other side, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I've brought, I've cleaned everything up. I have my five, um, well, my 10 links made at this point. Here is our pendant that we did way at the beginning and it still looks great. Um, it hangs like this, love that. And then um, we're going to just attach, assemble everything. Um, it's gonna be pretty simple from here on out, but it'll make a big statement with these wonderful Z beads, the bright green in there, it's gonna look awesome. And then you always will have something to wear on um, St. Patty's Day, <laughs> or really any time of the year if you're into green. So um, let's see, I like how this one looks next. And I, I did grab, I, I cut apart several smaller links. So this was the medium in the three links. So we have the large that we're using with the um, pendant. We have the middle link, which I haven't used in this project, and the middle link. I'm sorry, we have the small link and then the middle link. So what I did was cut apart a bunch of large links, which I don't know if we're gonna use those right now, and a bunch of medium links. So I'm gonna lay out my design. I like, well, obviously the pendant in the middle. I like this one next. Um, next I'm gonna go with this guy. He doesn't have a Z bead. I think we're going to um, stagger those. So I'll put it a link right here. Then we'll go with this guy next. Um, next we'll go with the another Z bead. And I know it's going out of frame, so I'll just kind of go this way. <laughs> um, and then we'll link him that way. Uh, next we'll go with the one that the last one that doesn't have a Z bead on it. Put a link there in the middle. We'll figure out what to do in the back because I don't think it's going to be very long with just these links. Um, and then we have one more, which will be this guy and this guy. So I'll go ahead and connect those. Um, you're going to want to be careful so your um, wire doesn't get too distorted. Um, we're just going to swing these open not pull, we're gonna swing like that, twist. And then I'm just gonna hook it around. You can use jump rings here if you'd like. I'm gonna see what it looks like without jump rings. And then if we need them, we can use them. Jump rings would make it a lot easier too. But I think we're good. I made the loops big enough that we're good and it's moving very nicely. Now, if your loops were a little too bit small, let's say you used um, eye pins instead of using metal, I'm sorry, instead of using uh, wire, totally cool just use um, some jump rings so I'm gonna go ahead and do the next link the cool thing about having um, rings like this is they, they don't just add texture they take up real estate so um, you don't have to use a ton of beads to make a statement Next, we'll put this one on. Okay. awesome it's looking really nice oh I love it I love it okay so then just gonna keep going trying to decide how we'll finish off the back there are just so many different ways so if you have more beads left in your mix you can finish it off by stringing the back making more um, links you can if you have more chain you can finish it off with chain in the back i haven't decided how we're going to finish off this uh necklace yet though we might not need to do anything it might be long enough
Okay, so there's our first half of the necklace. Let's see if we can get this straightened out. And I will um, absolutely show the entire necklace later. Um, but here's our first half. Get this ring out here. It's looking really pretty. And it's a little, the, the connections, if they're not 100%, um, like in the same direction for the uh, loops, it might be a little um, kinked, like it might not lay very straight. So that's another reason why you might want to use jump rings. This one's okay for me. I don't, I don't mind that. Um, and that'll also, it, you have to decide what, what look you want to. So here we go for the, this half of the necklace. Um, I'm going to go ahead and string the other half and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have the necklace together and I did me measure it on myself and it's very long so I don't need to do anything else. However, I did notice something that I didn't notice while I was putting it together. So we have this bright green in the front and I love how it looks with the darker green. However, the way I was tying it in was with these brighter um, olive color crystals and I didn't realize I didn't put those until three links or four links in and it doesn't bring any of this brighter green into these stones. So what I'm going to do is just very easily switch this section out for this section. So I'll move this one to the second link and this one to the fourth link and it will bring some of that green up into the piece. Um, like I said, I don't need any extra length on here. So what the back looks like right now is just two links. I think I am going to end up using two of these on the back and then we'll just, I'll find um, a link or I'm sorry, I'll find a, um, a clasp. I have these clasps and um, jump rings from Beetle on and then um, we'll just, use a jump ring to attach them and our necklace will be finished in the back. So let's switch out, let's switch out these links here. Just making sure we're getting the right things in the right order. Okay. And then we'll put our original link on this one. Okay, I'll go ahead and switch the other side as well and be right back. Okay, so I went through this little cute little findings um, package from Beetle On and I really love these uh, clasps but they were a little too tiny because this is a big chunky, chunky necklace. I did go through my stash of Jesse James bead stuff and I pulled out this magnetic clasp that I thought fit much um, much better. Uh, it's a little bit bigger and it's blingy but I'm still going to use um, the jump rings from this kit to attach it to our necklace. Uh, yeah I can use the smaller ones. Um, the other thing I'm going to do, oh, I like that size better, uh, is I'm also going to put on uh, two little crystals just to tie it together in the back. So we had two of our yellow-ish crystals left. So what I'm going to do is we'll have two more of our medium size um, 
links. We'll attach those to the last links on the necklace. Don't forget, Jesse James Beads has a um, contest going on um, for the green and gold uh, items, the Lucky You items. Um, the date, I'll have to look up the final date for that. So I'm going to go ahead and make two, you can use a head pin here. I'm just, I have my wire, so I'm just going to grab two tiny pieces of wire, make a littler, <laughs> smaller loop, make a smaller loop. It's one that'll just fit around our, our circle, our link. Put on our crystal. Do the same for the other side. I might have cut that a little too short, but that's okay because this side can go towards the clasp. And you can attach it right to the clasp if you'd like, whatever works for you. I'll check to see which one I like a little bit better. I think we'll use the jump ring. Just want to twist. Okay, so one half is finished. Then we'll just do the same thing the other side. Okay. And then I'll just grab my last jump ring. Okay, and our necklace is finished. It is a funky, fun, green and gold, perfect necklace that you can wear all year round. But, you know, if you work, I mean, I work, I don't work in an office anymore. I work from home. But if you go to an office job, this would be perfect for um, dressing up. I mean, it's perfect for jeans, perfect for whatever. And it just, it's a really good vibe for, um, a really good vibe for St. Patty's Day. So look at that bright green leading into the really rich hunter green and brown. And then we're tying that bright green in by using these crystals and then the yellow. And then we finished it off with our rhinestone clasp. So there's our necklace. I know I hope you didn't think that was all we're going to do today. <laughs> we're going to make a pair of coordinating earrings. So I'm going to set this off to the side. Um, I have a bigger hoop. So we had our mid-size hoops and now our bigger loop hoop, whatever you want to call it. Um, this crystal is from the uh, avocado on everything mix. And we're going to um, mimic the shape of the pendant. So instead of hanging our teardrop this way, we're going to hang our teardrop that way. Okay. And then remember all the way at the beginning, I had you save two of our um, tiger eye beads. 
And I also, from my other mix, saved, or from the avocado on everything mix, I, mi I saved a little tiny crystal and I saved another one of those olive crystals. So what I'm gonna do here is get a, a head pin. I'm gonna hang my um, bead on a head pin and then we're gonna connect it just like we did for all of the other pieces to our loop. Okay, make sure your head pin won't go inside your bead. Um, we'll do the same thing, we're gonna do that. I'm going to cut the tail a little longer than we normally would so it can go around. And then we'll just make a simple loop. And we'll open that up. Okay, so there's the first part of our earring and you could totally just make that your earring and it would look stunning with this necklace, but we're gonna tie in you know, the other elements from the necklace. So I'm gonna grab my wire again, cut off a length. Almost cut off my finger. <laughs> All right, and then I'm just gonna make a simple loop at the end, like we've done throughout the entire project. Again, if you want a wire wrap, that is totally fine. Um, especially if you have smaller ki kids and they might tug on your necklace, you might want a wire wrap so you're not worried about um, the loops coming undone. Sometimes I'm worried like I'll catch my necklace on a table or something, doorknob. Yeah, you might want to do wire wrapping. So I'm going to put on my green crystal. I am, um, I don't think... I want a spacer bead on this one. So I'm gonna put on my star cut tiger eye. And then I'm gonna put on my teeny tiny crystal. Okay, and it's gonna look like that. Just a little stack of beads. Bring my light a little bit closer. We've got a little stack of beads there. It's really pretty, it's very glitzy. And then we're just gonna do the same thing we've done throughout the entire project. We're going to Cut a tail, and then we'll do a simple loop. Okay, and then we will put this on the other side of our big girl chain circle. So there is our fantastic huge earring. Now, if you are so inclined, you can get some seed beads and you can, or crystals or whatever you'd like, you could um, wire wrap the inside of this loop. But we're gonna stay simple today. And I'm just going to grab a, an ear wire. And you, so it depends on how you want to hang, how it to, you would like it to hang. I normally would want it to hang so I can see the the um, the loop like that. And if it doesn't hang like that, you can always this um, this wire is malleable enough that you can twist it. So I'll make the 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 mate, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here are finished pieces. Um, don't forget to enter the Lucky You con Design Contest by Jesse James Beads on their Facebook page. Um, you can enter by using anything from the, uh, making a piece of jewelry using anything from the Lucky You collection. Um, and then I think you just tag them. Uh, they'll put the um, info in the chat. So I, I'm so excited that I got to make this piece with you guys today. It was so much fun. It's been a pleasure working with these fun stones. Um, 
yeah i think i i think we we nailed it it's fun sophisticated green and gold and i really really like and it. it just makes me super happy <laughs> look at that isn't that pretty so anyway thank you so much for watching guys i would love to hear what you think um and yeah thanks so much i hope you have a fantastic rest of your afternoon bye bye